was only in Tushan and Gimel, when the Rebbe's librarian, Shalom Ber Levin, was working on the letters to the Pindik Rebbe from that school. And he spent time with the Rebbe that the notion of Chav Ches Siva and the Nes Hatzala really came to light. And at that, at that point, there began a Mapecha among Sidim, which continues to grow Mikhail Khoil. So it's a privilege and a pleasure to ask Rav Agon and Shalom Ber Levin, the Rebbe's librarian, to please share with us of how this incredible day, the Shema Boyer, came to light and, and how the city began to celebrate. Chaim. Chaim As mentioned, the revelation of the day of Chavches Sivan was revealed in summer of Tov Shin Mem Gimel. In that summer, we were working on the, preparing the fifth volume of the Igres Kedesh of the Friedrich Rebbe. The first one to realize that letter was my colleague Itzhak Vilona. He was then working, going through the archive of the Friedrich Rebbe, the Heteka Maskiris of all the letters, taking out from them those letters that are Shaykh Litfus, Le Rabim, and giving, preparing for me to work on them. When he went through those letters of summer Tov Shin Aleph, he realized this date and the letter that my son-in-law, the Rebbe, just arrived to the States. He wrote that to Radam, the Rov of Chabad in Boston, David Meir Rabinovitz. We in the archive have the file of his original letters that he received from the Rebbe. So right when Rabbi Hillel told me that he realized that there is a letter of the Friedrich Rebbe to Radam, about the arriving of the Rebbe to the States, I went through right away that file and I found the original of the letter of the Friedrich Rebbe to him. We were working then on preparing the fifth volume of the Igres Kedesh. It was a very intense work. The Rebbe then was Mazares as to work as zealous as possible so much that during that year of Tov Shin Mem Gimel, we edited and published five volumes of Igres of the Friedrich Rebbe. Chelek Aleph, Beis, Gimel, Dalad, and Hay. So we went, met these letters in middle of the summer of Tov Shin Mem Gimel, working on it in the end of the year and publishing it in Tishrei. So after it was published in Tishrei, Tovshin Dalad Mem, everyone saw the date when the Rebbe arrived to the States. Actually, when I worked on that letters of Tovshin Aleph from the Friedrich Rebbe, about the releasing of the Rebbe, the Atzol of the Rebbe, we saw several letters that we didn't really understand what happened then. Some of the telegrams was sent to someone by the name Avram. Last name was Avram. He was in Nice and the telegrams went through him to the Rebbe. And we didn't quite understand what he's doing in Nice, and not in Paris, and then in Vichy, and then in Marseille. We didn't really understand it. As the Rebbe told us then, that in every volume should be an introduction, a movie, describing all the special events of that year 
according to the letters. But I had a whole chapter on the, the Hatzola of the Rebbe, but I couldn't make out a straight story of it. So then I decided to try to speak to the Rebbe about it. Maybe she'll tell me. Maybe she'll answer some of the questions. I was very skeptical on that. Since, as we knew, that the Rebbe is very not like to be public. She would not like people to ask questions about her personal life. And here I'm going to ask her about her and the Rebbe's personal life so many years ago in a period that was hidden from us. But I still tried. She was then on Chavez with the Rebbe in the library. My office in the library then, Friday in the morning I would clean it out completely and the room was prepared for the Rebetzin to accept some people, some guests. So I decided to come to her that evening, Friday night, and to discuss it with her. I expected she wouldn't like to talk to me about it, but she was, I told her, it's not my curiosity. It is only that I'm working on the letters of the Friedrich Rebbe, and I'm working on the introduction, and there I have a chapter about the release of the Rebbe and the Rebetzin from France, and I'm all confused there. So if she could enlighten me on what happened there. She was so glad to hear the questions, and she told me the whole story, starting when the Rebbe was in the age of still in the army, and he registered as, as a soldier from France for him to make it easier to travel in Paris. They shouldn't take him away. And then it helped him to travel when the Germans arrived to Paris to travel together with the rabbits to Vichy. That was still less danger. It wasn't just for him to travel. He had with him a whole collection of Kisviat Kedesh of the Rabbein. He had with him a whole collection of the copies that he copied all the Maimorim Ksaviat Kedesh of the Rebbe Rashab. All the Kisviat Kedesh of the letters of the Rebbe Rashab, the collection of the Friedrich Rebbe. So when he was in Riga, he copied everything and he had it in a full suitcase. He had all the Rashimas that we know later of. He had the, 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 the Matones, the Sforim that he received on the Hasane. Uh, several suitcases of m most important and holy items. And he was supposed to travel in the train, in the squeezed train running away with all the people from Paris. He had this card that he is a, a registered as a sol soldier and that helped him. So he ran away Erev Shavuos from Paris when the Germans arrived to Paris and they went till they reached Vichy. But they reached Vichy and the ski of Shavuos and still from the train station till the hotel is a long way. Not only they couldn't walk so far, but they couldn't carry all the suitcases too. And it's all these holy suitcases. They took a guy a, that had a horse and a wagon. They put all the suitcases on the horse and the wagon. The rabbit herself couldn't walk such a far distance till the hotel. So she also sat with the Nanju on the wagon, carrying the Balagole. The Rebbe didn't want to go on the wagon. He wanted to go by foot all the long way. So everything was on the wagon, she tells me, I couldn't walk. 
he walked and the wagon and the horses went slow, he should be able to keep up till they reached the hotel. So that's how she told me and then she tells me how it was then there, dangerous for the Nazis occupation till they felt that it's more safe to go to Nice. They went from there to Nice. Then she tells me that it was difficult before Pesach that year they couldn't get matzah in Paris, in France. And the first year, Tovshin, the Friedrich Rebbe arranged they should send them a special shipment of matzah from Israel. But this year it wasn't possible. How did he get the matzah? She tells me that he had a friend called Besberotke. He was a specialist on mirrors and he was working for the army. And the Rebbe found out that he has to go to Zürich to get some material for these mirrors. So the Rebbe spoke to him and told him if he gets there, if he could speak to someone to get matches, a pack of matches to bring from there because Zürich was still, still not under the Nazi occupation. He spoke to Schmerling, he brought him a bag of matzahs and some of it the Rebbe himself ate and some of them he gave to other acquaintances that didn't have any matzahs for the Seder. So she told me the whole story. And the whole story I incorporated into the movie of the Igres Kedesh of Helek Vov, of Helek Hay. I couldn't mention where I know this. Because I know that the Rebetzin is so running away from publicity, living her own, own life. And she wouldn't want me to write that she told me these stories. So I just told the story as I know it from Gora Kedesh. But the whole story is there. It was many years later, 30 years later, when we edited and published the Sefer of Tildes Chabad in Pale, and there also we have a chapter on the Hatzola of the Rebbe with many more documents that was revealed over the years since Tavshim and Gimel Tif, till Tavshim and Aleph. So I tell the whole story again with all the documents, the documents from Washington, how they worked with it, and the, the documents from France, and from Friedrich Friedrich Rebbe, and the, 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 the telegraphs. There I again, again tell the whole story. But there I say that this is the story that Rebetzin told me, and that I wrote it, I published it in the, Igres, in the introduction to the Igres Kedish, Chelek Hay. Then in Tovshin Aleph I had no reason to hide what, what are my sources. When the Rebbe came to the States on Hof Chesim, it mainly is the letter that he wrote to Radam Rabinovitz, but then there is a few more letters that he wrote to some people about it. And the first month that the Rebbe and the Rebbe came, the, Rebbe, the Friedrich Rebbe gave them the Yechidus room, where he is now the Yechidus room, that the Rebbe and the Rebbe stayed there for a month, Till they rented for them an apartment on President in New York where they lived for the next 15 months.